Chillers, chillers, welcome back, welcome back. Yes, it's the Critic Corp. Yes, I am Tope. And this is my little anime uh corner spoiler today on um the boy and the heron. Um I just went and seen that boy uh last night. It was fucking pretty dope. It was pretty dope. I uh I most definitely enjoyed the uh the se the second half the first half was a little slow burner you know the pacing wasn't all there but once it got once it got like midway through oh it picked up it picked up like no other bro like I was on the edge of my seat like trying to um understand because it 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 picked up so like just like that like it. Oh my god, it took off like no other and it was fucking phenomenal. The the graphics were um, you know, clean as fuck. Animations always got that clean graphics. Fucking especially given this is the same, you know, people that made uh Spirited Away or fucking um you know, Holland in the Castle, Moon or Moon Castle or whatever. Like their shit's always on point. <clears throat> that's why they always, you know, they deliver mainly on their movies. You you really won't see a series out of their ass. They, they go straight to the big screen with it, with all this shit. It's fire as fuck. I love it. Um, but, you know, I would say as far as, like, um... You know, the whole moral of the story, it take it'll take you a minute. It'll really take you a tail. It'll, it'll take you a quick second to uh, not a quick second. I'm sorry. It won't. It won't take you a quick second to understand it. You'll really have to sit there and um, you know, like try and gather from all the information you know that you didn't pull from the movie, or go see it again. You know, um. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it, anime is always like that little weird, just fucking out of the ordinary type of fucking shit, bro. I love it. I love it. Um, so, it's, it's about this boy named Mojito. Um, his mother dies. Uh, he lost, he lost his mother in a fire. And whatnot, and you know, um, goes on a big, you know, just big grievance of it, and hasn't really came to terms of his mother's, uh, you know, death. And um, his father has seemed to move on. He he didn't got him a new boo and everything. They about to have a baby and all type of shit. He got a new stepmother, and um. Her name is a uh, Natsuko, and um, they end up moving. He ends up uh, the dad ends up pretty much uh, moving him in with the with the mom while he's out on business, and um, Mahito really don't care for the bitch. <laughs> he don't really care for her as um, <laughs> like Jesus just. just I'm being short about it, like he 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 really didn't want shit to do with her. Um, he could care less that she was having, um, you know, he that he's about to have another sibling by her and all that shit. He he just he wanted his mother back, and that's what the main, you know, like main focus of this story was him, um, trying to. Find his mother that, um, I guess didn't really die in a sense. Um, cause he gets, he gets this visit from this weird ass bird slash, um, dude, like human, um, a heron, in fact. And, um, he, he tells him, you know, he proceeds to tell him how his mother isn't, you know, dead. She's alive. And keeps, you know, um, just keep pestering at him day by day 
Like, come with me, come with me if you want to see your mother, all this shit. And <clears throat> he ends up luring him, finally. Um, and, uh, goddamn. The only way, the only reason he did end up getting lured in is because of, uh, Nasuko. She ends up fucking going missing. And he knows, Mah Mahito knows, uh, like, most definitely the uh, Heron has something to do with it. Or, you know, he got some type of answers, you know. Um, so, he, uh... He followed him into this tower, this this little fucking weird ass crazy looking tower, and ends up um, transporting him into a a little another world um, called the Sea. I think it's called the Sea World or whatever. Um, and then this world it was fucking crazy, bro. Like all the animals were big as fuck. Like human size, and all the humans were. Um, like half their age, they were young as hell. Cause like I guess the time, the time difference in that in that world was was completely far off from the real world. So, like they aged very differently. Everything in their age is very differently. Um, he ends up fucking. Coming across his mom, fucking, and she's she's like his about his age, young as hell. Like, cause he he's only like, I think like a preteen. I don't even know. They didn't even, they didn't even disclose how old he was. He, I'm pretty sure he was probably like, fucking, what, fifteen or something. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, he ends up coming across his mom looking for Nasiko, cause. His main, his his main focus initially was to get Nasuko back, just for the sake of his dad. He didn't want him going through that again, losing an, an you know another woman in his life, especially with with her uh, being with his child, being with child, and um, you know. Mojito had to put his selfishness to the side and come to terms that his mom is gone. Like, even even if he wanted to believe she's alive, she's not. But he ends up finding a younger version of her, and that's when shit fucking spirals. Like, oh my god. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy. Like, um... He even end up meeting his uh his fucking grand great grand uncle or whatever. Like this shit, it was it got wild. It got wild, bro. It was the pair these big ass parakeets that was that was just like plotting on him, trying to eat him and shit. The whole story was just crazy. Like, oh my god, I fucking loved it. He had it had, had funny moments. And then it had some deep dialogue. Like you had to, you had to really lock in and pay attention, especially uh, in the beginning where where it was a slow burn, but you know <clears throat> it was still important. Uh, you know information. Um, you know, long story short, though, um, he Mahito ends up returning back to. Uh, his world, you know, obviously without his mother, uh, cause you know she's she's from she's from another fucking timeline. She she you know, it wouldn't make sense for her to come back to his timeline because he would have probably never been born. Um, fucking, you know, uh. And he, like, fucking releases information to her as that she's gonna die and whatnot. And she, she's like, you know, no, like, that's, 
Uh, that's okay. I'm 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 pretty satisfied with the outcome of you know how how you fucking became to be my child and whatnot, you know, and um that was kind of like the closure that Mahito uh needed in a sense. Um He he pretty much got to say his final goodbyes to his mom, like he didn't get to, because she died in the fire, and um, it really like it really emphasized on the grievance of Mojito that he had built up, and it showed that you know that he's finally ready to move on and um, accept Nasuko. As his his mother, his new mother, his stepmother, or whatever, and you know, um, actually begin to have a better viewpoint of life. That's what I, that's what I got out of it when I watched this shit. That's what I got out of it. Um, like I said, the goddamn graphic scenes were just beautiful. Um, uh, all the the goddamn little birds and animals were clean looking. All that art was clean. Story was great. Like I said, it just had a slow build into it, but it was it was still important, especially knowing that uh. It was going to just flip like that. And towards the middle. Like. Or well, not knowing that it was going to flip like that towards the middle. I know now. But you guys. Some of you guys know that. Fucking. That's watching this. But um, yeah. It's. It's a good movie man. It's a good movie. For sure. I, I put it in my top. Uh, I put it in my top 15. On. Uh, on Letterboxd and whatnot. You know, animes are just a different story, man. They and you can do so much with animation, and um, is is just fucking, it's crazy, it's mind blowing, how much freedom they got with fucking animation as to where it's like real life shit. You know, they can really pull some shit out their ass, and it's it's crazy. I love it. Fucking love it. So this is why I, I adore anime and appreciate all my anime fans because this shit, this shit is just something I fucking will most definitely continue to do or watch or whatever until, you know, until I'm in my deathbed, bro. I don't give a fuck how old I get. I'm, I'm gonna watch me some anime. <laughs> so. Um, with that being said, man, fucking let me know what you guys, uh, think about this movie. Um, leave some comments, you know, like and subscribe, support the motherfucking corp, and I will, uh, be back for another review on, um, another spoiler review, actually, so, on, uh, Maestro, so stay tuned for that. Toodles.